These voices are not real. What you're hearing is AI-generated content. These voices are intended for entertainment purposes only. Now watch me kick Sleepy Joe's butt at whatever game we're playing this video. Unless if they're on a team. Anyway, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Joe, we already talked about this, but why did you put our team name as Brick Pretty is the best? It's straight up facts, Ariana. He is the best in the game and no one will ever top him. Yeah, we'll see about that this season, Joe. And I know that your opinion will change eventually by the time the Super Bowl comes around. Anyway, we got the second pick in this draft. I know we will pick someone good enough for fantasy. Let's have Donald go first since I'll give him a second chance to not pick C.D. Lamb. Pick McCaffrey if he is available. Orange man. I honestly would take Brees Hall if given the chance. The running backs this year are pretty top heavy. I'll go with Tyreek Hill this time. He has definitely grown on me and I am so excited to see him on our team this year. I do like the pick as well, but Tua may hold him back a lot more than he did last year. But it would be a different story if Brick Pretty was throwing passes. Okay, Barack, can you go next? Because I don't trust anyone else picking our next player. Sure, my knowledge on fantasy football has greatly expanded between now and our last draft. Oh Lord, please do not pick him, Barack. I guess I have to pick Garrett Wilson only to appease Donald, and I'm sure he'll explain why. I sure do love this pick, especially that Aaron Rodgers will throw passes to this guy. You should have taken a running back. You two are totally going to regret not picking Brees Hall, Jameer Gibbs, or Derrick Henry. Well, Ariana, would you like to answer back with our next pick in the draft? Of course, time to show y'all what positions are most important. Better not pick Josh Jacobs if he's available. Oh my gosh, I love Devonna Cheney. He is so fast. Oh shit, Richard White. He is very underrated, and I'm taking him. I would have actually rather have Ariana take Josh Jacobs. Well, I'll have Joe go next. Damn. Not even two minutes in, and we have picked our first two players. I hope we can get to the eight-minute mark because I want those mid-roll ads. We actually picked three players, Ben. I understand because our first round pick felt like a while ago, but yeah, hope it's enough. Joe, who do you think you'll take with our next pick? I will take somebody that I know and love the most, and I'm sure that everyone will like who I choose. Oh, please, if you take Brock Purdy, I will tank this team and I will make sure we pick the worst players on the draft board, literally. I hope it's not just another receiver. I mean, there are plenty of tight ends available. Joe, just the pick the guy that you think can help us win the championship this year. Maybe a quarterback would be the idea here. Definitely not Brock Purdy for sure. Oh man, I see my guy. You all will definitely like him on the team. He's just as good as Brick Pretty, but not better. Jalen Hurts is definitely better than Brock Purdy. Not a bad pick from you, Sleepy Joe. I do like Joe's pick. You definitely need a dual threat quarterback who can run and throw deep. He can do both very effectively, and I'm sure he's due for a comeback season. The only game I want him to do bad is against the Packers, which I am praying comes true. All right, Ben, we just need you to do your pick, which should happen in a little bit. Well, it came quicker than I thought. The tight ends are very top heavy and we need it to be a strength. So I am taking Mark Andrews because I have a very good feeling he'll do good. Why well, all should thank Ben for getting a starting tight end and now we can focus on getting a defense kicker and some elite bench players. And now I guess the orange man is up next and will tank for our team. No, I'm not. You're lucky you picked Jalen Hurts. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league right now. So I'll pick someone good. Thank goodness I am so relieved to hear that. Okay, Donald, you're up and make it quick. See, Ben, it's either I take my time or I rush and don't think and regret it later, but I don't see anyone on the board I like. Any suggestions? What we need is another running back, Donnie. I clearly see some good running backs on the board right now. Yes, especially DeAndre Swift, one of the free agents the Bears signed this offseason. Well, I choose Chris Godwin because y'all missed out on Mike Evans and you all will definitely regret on not picking him. True that. I like the pick, Donald, but pick Swift for the next one, Barry. Really, Ben? The White Sox and now the Bears? Since when did you become a Bears fan? And also, they're like the worst team to cheer for. I became a fan of all the teams my dad grew up cheering for. Typical, let's not make this episode all about Ben. Just move on to the next pick, Barry. Since you refuse to pick another running back, I will take Brian Robinson, JR. He will have a great season for sure. I really don't like that pick, Barack. He's a little overrated in my opinion. And you forgot who they added in the offseason. Jaden Daniels and Austin Eckler will steal a lot of his carries this season. Ariana can do better than that, and she is up next. You all know I gotta pick my boy, Jaden Reed. He is gonna be the true Packers wide receiver number one this year, and don't say I told you so by the time the fantasy playoffs start. Goodness, Ariana, you should have picked someone from the Eagles. Or from the Bears. Like, Caleb Williams could be our backup. Geez, you guys, all of your biased asses will be the reason we won't win the championship this year. Fine, orange fuck, if you wanna call us biased, I'll show you bias, just you wait. Wait, who said it was okay for Joe to do the next pick? Have Ben pick instead. Joe went after me, Donald. You should have remembered. You remember everything. 
it's fine, Donald. He'll probably pick a shitty bench player anyway who will be a big snub. Oh man, the Jets defense. That defense will be so good once again and Aaron Rodgers will give them the aura they need. Who's biased now, asshole? Sit down, Crooked Joe. Being biased for a player doesn't count. I'm not a Jets fan. Just move on to the next pick already. Donald is so hypocritical at times and it pisses me off. Hope it doesn't happen later. Some things about Donald you cannot like, but the fact is that he always want everything to go his way, even when it seems it doesn't. We could definitely use another running back, and I'll take Devin Singletary. He's not like Saquon, but I hope he's about average and almost as good as Saquon. Saquon will definitely be better with the Eagles O-line helping him out. Even Jalen Hurts can do the dirty work for him. Hey guys, just wanted to mention this, but it has been four years since the creator starting making videos all together. That's pretty cool. Congrats to him and hope we can keep going with making more videos. I'm sure you don't have to worry about that Ariana since football season is around the corner. Who's going to pick this time? I can't remember the order. I'm next Sleepy Joe. I'll take JSN. I feel we had a missed opportunity on taking him last year, and he will not have that sophomore slump that everyone is supposed to have. The only time I want him to do bad is against the Packers. I forgot Seattle was playing Green Bay. That game should be fun for sure. Another fact is that game will be on primetime backing up Ben's claim, but I believe it will be great, and this NFL season will be great because of all the storylines that were made in the offseason. Who are you going to take, Barry? I like Romo Dunsey, but I know someone won't like that, and I feel like we have too much receivers. But I think we should get another running back. I guess, JK, Dobbins should be good. What do you think, Ben? I do like it, but he's injury prone, so I don't know what to say. Maybe a change of scenery will spark something in him. Really bad pick. I really am carrying this draft, and I bet none of you had a good pick that I would consider. Joe picked Jalen Hurts, and he should have a bounce back season. Ben picked Mark Andrews, and there's only three really good tight ends for fantasy, I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know who to really take, but I want to draft a rookie because there's a lot of them right now. Give me Xavier Worthy. He's definitely going to be good since Mahomes will be throwing him passes. I'll go next since Joe is sleeping. I will take Harrison Butker, the best available kicker on the board right now. I have never had a chance to pick him up in any of my other leagues, so it's a good feeling right now. I do not like that pick at all, Ben, simply because of what he said at his graduation speech. Okay, Joe, it's your turn now to pick a player. And do make it a stupid one, too. You read the words right out of my mouth, little Benjamin. Where's Brick Pretty? Where is he? Did someone take him already? Joe, just calm down, my dude. It's going to be okay. We didn't pick Brock Purdy in our last draft, and we were projected to finish highly in our division. Oh, that sucks, Joe. Guess you got to pick another player. Well, we do need to take a backup QB when Jalen Hurts is on bye week, and I think a good option available is Baker Mayfield. He's underrated and was really good last year for fantasy. Now, I'll take Matthew Stafford from the Ram Ranch. Joe, you are very weird. Joe, I want to do the last pick. Can you hurry up? I want to do the last pick. I wanted to do the last pick, but I guess it's okay if you go then, Ariana. Thanks, Barack. I'll take the Packers defense. You should have picked the Bears defense, but you do you, Ariana. Okay, we passed the eight minute mark. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you're watching this, if you drafted Brick Pretty, trade him to my team.